folks, Christy, your flute coach here, ready to take you through an example of tuning your flute. So the things you'll need for this exercise are your assembled flute, your tuning rod, which also acts as your cleaning rod, and a tuner. And this can be a tuner that you found online. There are plenty of free ones available. Uh, there are free tuner apps available to download onto your phone, or you may actually have a physical tuner. Any of these is fine. So once you have these three things, we are ready to go. Now the first step to perfect tuning, perfect pitch, is having a look at the cork inside your head joint. So I'll just quickly disassemble my flute and we'll have a look at that. Now the cork lies in this top section of the head joint here and if it's out of alignment, if it's too high or too low, it affects the uh, overall length of your flute. And uh, a flute tube that's too long results in a flat, playing flat, and a, tu a tube that's too short will result in us playing sharp. So depending on where that cork lies, we'll be out of tune. So we can check this by looking at our flute tuning rod. And you should see that there is a mark there, you can see on mine. And that mark is 17.3 millimeters from the end of your rod. And it's that mark that when we insert it into our head joint there, it should be aligned midway on our embouchure hole. I'm not sure if you can see that. But if the mark is too far to one side, one or the other, it means it's out of alignment. And I would recommend going to an experienced flute teacher or a flute technician to get that cork back into alignment. I wouldn't recommend doing it yourself. And this is not something that you need to check strictly every time you play, but uh, it, it is a good idea if you're having some tuning problems to check that first. If your flute is serviced regularly, uh, you know, about once a year or so, you shouldn't have too many problems. So now that we've checked our cork and it's in alignment, we can move on. The second step here is to warm up your flute. And I explained in my article that the temperature that you're playing in can really affect your tuning. Too cold, a flute that is cold will play flat and a flute that is warm could play sharp. So it's a winter's day here, it's a little bit cold, uh, so we're going to warm up our flute. And to do that, I just press down all the keys to make it a solid tube and uh, blow some air into the mouthpiece. And about half a dozen or so breaths will do it. You can start to feel the flute warming up. And the next best way to warm up the flute is of course playing a few bars of the song that you'll be playing, play some scales, and that acts twofold in not only warming up the flute, but warming up your facial muscles that you'll be using to form your embouchure. We want to tune to your natural embouchure shape, not an, an artificial one, uh, because we want to settle into that beautiful playing position. So let's do some scales together to warm up. <laughs> your best tone as well nice and clear and the you know the tone that you'll be wishing to play with now your tuner may look slightly different to this but essentially you will uh, have your notes uh, on a scale and there'll be markings uh, above and below your note that you wish to play and that indicates uh, that you'll be playing either sharp higher or flat lower than your desired frequency. You may have to change the settings in your tuner to uh, for the reference pitch. Uh, your flute may be a A440, mine's 442 and I've already made that adjustment in here. So it's now time to blow a note and see if we can tune our flute. I tune to a B flat so you need to play this note uh, moderately loud, mezzo forte, and uh, just sustain it for a couple of seconds and we'll see where we are on the scale. And my tuner will light up green if we're in tune. So we are above the mark of our B flat there. You'll notice it says A sharp, but they are the same note. So we're playing sharp. It means that we need to lengthen the flute tube and lower the pitch. So I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to really overdo it actually. I'm going to pull it out about a centimetre just so you can see how much of a difference it makes. I'll try again and I imagine we'll be playing flat. We are, we're playing 
playing a little bit flat. So we need to just elevate that pitch a little bit. And to do that, we're gonna push in. And I'll push in that head joint about three millimeters to shorten the length of the flute tube flute tube and bring that pitch up a little higher. And you can see there we've got green, that means we have tuned uh, pretty close to the mark there. It can be a little bit tricky right to get that sweet spot. You may hover just a little bit over or just a little bit under. In reality, it is quite hard to match the, the frequency perfectly. But it looks like we've done a really good job here. Oh, I'm playing a little bit flat. I may have let my flute cool down a little bit too much while I was talking. There we go. Back on pitch again. So we've successfully tuned our flute to the B flat note. Uh, it is important to note though that even though our flute is technically in tune, we can still play out of tune by making adjustments to our embouchure, either the, um, the shape of our embouchure, um, covering too much of the hole, playing uh, with a too little airspeed, or even rolling the flute in and out. And I'll show you an exaggerated version of that and you should see the pitch go up and down as I roll the flute out and in. You can really notice that change in pitch. So that's just something to be mindful of as you're playing, that even though you have tuned your flute, uh, some of the individual factors of your own playing style can affect pitch. So I hope that's really helped you and um, enjoy playing the flute. See you.